This video is sponsored by Copilot. More about them later. In this video, I go on a new fitness journey to create a healthier lifestyle for myself. My current home gym, well, it's kind of all over the place. My space is small, so I'm in pursuit to build myself custom and stylish home gym storage solutions that will keep my space clean, but also keep me motivated to stay active. Can it be done or will I crumble under the weight? <laughs> Everything hurts. DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is branching into a world that uh, I feel really self-conscious about. I used to consider myself a very active person. Like I played sports all the time. I kickbox three to four times a week. But in the last two years, I have fallen off the active train. Like, like literally that train has stopped in the station. The wheels are rusted and the dust is forming on the seat. I will say I'm thankful for my dog Kenobi because at least we walk together and that gets my butt off the couch and also the DIY lifestyle it is somewhat active but admittedly I've tried to integrate workouts into my life and I have tried so many different at home solutions but it's so challenging to keep it up without having any accountability attached to it so I decided to change this habit and I'm whipping myself back into shape and that includes whipping my home gym back into shape. <laughs> That's just really fun. Um, because at this moment, my home gym is in the way. It's an eyesore. So today we're going to fix it. We're going to get ourselves motivated and hopefully I can motivate you as well. So let's get into it. Editor, roll that treadmill. <laughs> Boop. Welcome to my office slash home gym. <laughs> I gotta admit, I was not the most excited to make this video because it meant that I had to share a really vulnerable piece of me that recently I don't really like about myself very much. But then I thought how many people are probably feeling the same way as me about their fitness journeys. So I thought it would be a really great thing to share and good for everyone to know that you are not alone. I mean, I gotta admit, I don't want to not be active. I feel really good when I balance my life with healthier choices like working out, but it's so hard sometimes. <laughs> when I moved here, there just weren't as many options for me to go kickboxing or go to yoga. Going to the gym is just not for me either. Like I never liked it. I never enjoyed it. I don't like the atmosphere. Um, if I buy a membership, I just won't go. So I've tried tried at home workouts, I have followed YouTube videos, I have played those fun Nintendo workout games, but uh, then my mental health became a huge issue in the last two years. And now it's not just about my fitness, it's about my journey to bring myself back to a better mental place too. I mean, that in itself has been a whole journey, but I know this is an ingredient to that journey that needs to stick if I'm going to get there. So something had to change for me. So this video is sponsored with Copilot and it's an app that I've been using for a few weeks now, close to a month now, and I think it's working. I wanted to use it first before I talked about it because I needed to know if I felt like this was something that was going to work for me. Copilot is a personal fitness coach on your phone. It's not a computer, it's not AI, it's not automated. Like I have a personal fitness coach that I talk talk to through an app on my phone. And when I started the co-pilot journey a few weeks back, I had a full one-on-one -on -one call with my personal trainer, Heidi. Excited to start this journey with you. So I know you said you wanted these to be sort of more home-based workouts. Um, I know you had asked about like some equipment you might need to get. Do you happen to have any equipment right now or what do you have to start with, would you say? And I talked to her about my workout journey, my fitness goals, my eating habits. We talked about the equipment I had in my home, certain ailments like bad knees and back pain that I've been kind of dealing with. Um, and she took all of this information 
and curated custom workout plans for me. I honestly believe that she has been the accountability that I have lacked to keep me on track. Like if I don't submit my workout plans, she reaches out and checks in. She pushes me and encourages me and it's been working. I got to pick how often and when I work out, which will always be flexible to my schedule. And now I get two custom workouts every week that's tailored to me and what I have in my home and the tools that I have. So I'm going to be sharing my workouts with you this week. Please don't judge because I think it's really great. And I mean, if you're like me and you just need to find a better home gym solution, maybe you might see this as a solution too. And if you do, uh, I have a link in my description box that gives you a free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. So um, check it out if you want. So yeah, it's exciting. I got my fitness on track. Uh, I'm doing the thing, <laughs> but one problem. I really dislike this. All of my workout gear has no place to go. So it sits on the floor. So I have a plan. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Okay, so I have this corner in my office space. Um, as you can see, this shelf has become kind of like the garbage shelf, the storage shelf. As I've always said, like my house really lacks storage. So when there's like odds and ends, it always ends up here. And that's only because, so this door here is normally open and I'll show you. It normally sits here. And so it kind of covers this spot a little. <laughs> so it's kind of nice that this is like tucked away but if this is the space that I'm gonna do most of my workouts in I love that this area is accessible for me and I figured well I have all this open shelf I can definitely find places for all of these things like most of these things need to be donated these boxes don't need to be here anymore um, we're gonna find a place for this like I have a basket of things that I don't even know what they are like I got some nerdy things <laughs> in here that can find a place because my nerdy shelf is here I I have this fold up treadmill that has been amazing, especially the winter seasons when Kenobi and I don't go for as many walks. So I'm really happy that I found a compact solution for my walking that I enjoy. But this area here is just not working for me. It's not pretty to look at. And I think that we could utilize this space on my shelf for all of my workout gear. So I figured let's create a solution that works in this Ikea shelf that can hold all of my kettlebells, it can hold my dumbbells, it can hold my weights and all my workout accessories because they're kind of like all over my house and I would love just everything fitness related to like live in one area. So I just think a custom build will be perfect for this and uh, I'm excited to get started. So tomorrow we begin the build. Okay, starting. Here's a full body dumbbell workout. Use your best weight that you feel most comfortable with and adjust the weight in the app if necessary. And let me know, remember to engage your muscles to move the weight. <sighs> We're doing it, Peter. We're flying. Start workout. First is 10 seconds of arm circle. Press start to begin. Like this, this is light. Squatting. Start the next set. Press in when you're done. I'm already burning. One. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Why am I dying already? This is how out of shape I am. We got goals, baby. We are strong. What number am I on? Four. Look how big my guns look. You are a strong, healthy, independent woman. You got this. Okay. I think we're done with that. Oh, hi, boo-boo. Yeah, mama's working. You come to work out with me? That hurts. I feel very vulnerable sharing all this with you. This is good for you, Danny. You need this. Healthy lifestyle. Healthy mindset. Submit workout. How was the app? Great. How was the workout? 
Disgusting. Additional feedback. <sighs> Dead. Submit workout. Okay, so 29 minutes. I did these muscles, these muscles, my notes. Oh, I earned 14 points. Activity completed, 10 points. Intensity bonus, four points. Level three. Let's take a photo. Share with the coach. Done. I'm really out of shape, but you know what? I feel really good. I really need to make a workout bench. I think this is gonna work out better for me. Okay. <laughs> Everything hurts. <laughs> I am like dying this morning after that workout. I would like just sweat profusely through that whole thing. I've already had like a bunch of conversations with my trainer about like how we can change um, my whole workout or things that didn't really feel good. Also, you probably noticed I was using my entryway bench for that workout. <laughs> I do have a better bench coming um, and we're gonna address that in this video, so don't worry. But I got some measurements done. I think I have a plan. So. I think my goal is to kind of create two cubby systems. Like basically there's going to be a piece here and then I'm going to use dowels for all of my dumbbells to sit on. So it's like a little dowel rack. And then I have um, some extra space for more to come if I choose to buy heavier weights because I get so jacked. <laughs> I doubt that day will ever come. And then there's gonna be a divider here and then a shelf. So we'll have a cubby here and a cubby here. And I just think it's gonna work so well with what I'm trying to do and have all the space. I have terrible drawings. This is, this is my brain working itself out. I think I got my measurements. I think I know the sizes. I think we got a plan. I think we got a plan. So let's go build that plan. Let's go DIY. Pa, pa, pa. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> You know what? It holds the weights. So now that we have this part, what we need to do is start basically building out the other side. So we're gonna bring in another wall here, add a shelf, we're gonna add a bottom here, a bottom here. This is gonna give it the support it needs on the bottom. We're also gonna add some top supports just to make sure that this thing is nice and sturdy if weights are going on it. And then basically that's, that's it. The question is now, do I want to pocket hole? How do I want to do it? I think I do, but if I paint it, it's not really gonna matter. Maybe I will just screw it in. It's actually almost simpler to pocket hole. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna pocket hole. To pocket hole or not to pocket hole, that is the question. Maybe we won't. <sighs> 
but maybe it would look better. I don't know if we need to. No pocket holes. Decisions. We're moving on. Let's build some braces. Oh, it appears I will need to pocket hole. What up? <laughs> and I also have this thing here that can fit in here. So it holds my phone so I can do my classes. I just can't tell if I want to paint it like a, a black color to kind of contrast all of this or if I want to go white just so that it kind of like blends in, you know? I do think maybe I'm going to leave this natural. Maybe I'll stain them, you know? Stain these up and then like paint this a nice white. That could be cool. I don't know, I'm gonna think on it. I'm gonna noodle it a little bit, but we will do that tomorrow, so. I don't love this gap right here. This was not meant to be here. The board was actually supposed to be six feet, but for some reason, after I bought it, took it home and measured it, it was like not six feet, it was like five. So I don't know why they would sell a board and say it's six when it's not six. But anyways, I could find a board and just like create a little topper for it maybe, but I don't know. I could just slide some books in here, I think, and it would be fine. And oh my gosh, Am I ever happy I can get rid of this thing now? This thing was so cheap. It was built with the worst plastic I've ever seen. It actually came broken. I have no idea why. And it just wobbled back and forth every time I put the weights on it. So I am so glad that can go in the garbage. DIY win today. Big fan of this. <laughs> All this time. I've been feeling hopeless till you came Up first around, is 20 seconds of step jack. Press start to begin. All this time, you're the only reason I'm not chasing Up next is 30 seconds of dumbbell eyes. half burpee walkout. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? day I'm gonna go pass out now <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding <sighs> boy good morning friends I am feeling energetic today that workout this morning was mighty good I'm starting to feel good about myself again and I'm just I, that makes me excited but Today, we are gonna finish this organizer so that I can continue to use this in my feel good days. So we need to fix this up. I do need to drill a hole on the backside so that I have access to that plug. We also need to fill in any holes with some wood filler. Um, just make sure that it looks all nice. Maybe fill in some screw holes and then we're gonna give it a light sand. Then we're gonna paint this thing. And I was thinking maybe we can stain the dowel pieces like a nice dark brown 
around just to match the wood that's in the office because it is going to live in there for a while so I might as well try to match it so we'll stain these guys up we'll paint this white to match the bookshelf and then um, we can move on pretty cool right it's a fun little project we're working out this is working out and everything is working out this weekend all right I have here is my new workout bench. Yay! I got it off Amazon. So this thing came in one piece, but it folds. So much like my treadmill, this thing also folds up in a compact way so that if I want to tuck it away, I can. Okay, so then it, this goes like, uh, how does this work? Oh, I see, okay, so this thing unscrews and then you can screw it back in. Okay, I see, I get it. Okay, so, okay, so this key obviously goes through that. Okay, so then this is supposed to, aha, gives me some workout positions. Look at that. Okay, so that's not too bad, but here's the thing. When I ordered this, I was thinking, okay, even if I can fold this up, put it in my office, this yellow, she ain't jiving with my aesthetic. <laughs> and then I was thinking, what if we covered, like kind of reupholstered the workbench? And I think it's possible. All we need to do is remove these pieces here and then just basically like reupholster it. So I went and found myself this nice, like kind of like a maroony red uh, faux leather. Think how much nicer this would look if this was like wrapped in this. I mean, it's still faux leather, it's easy to clean, but like it would just look so nice. And then at least if I wanna keep this out, the red is gonna look so much nicer with all of my decorum, my back wallpaper, and just like everything. And then I don't have to have this like hot yellow sticking out like already. Doesn't this feel so much better? So I'm gonna see if I can find something to remove the bolts so we can lift these off, which I should also name these because I feel like I'm gonna forget. And it's not, it doesn't feel like it's uh, metal underneath, so I should be able to staple into this. I think we can do it, friends. And then one day if I don't like it, I just remove the upholster and then there's this lovely seat underneath. I love that for us. <laughs>
does that not look so much better or what? Oh, I love it. And even if we like go to fold it up, I think it's gonna look better. So we fold this guy up, fold it up. And then we fold this. Look at that! All right, all right! Honestly, this was uh, a pretty inexpensive upgrade, if you ask me. Okay, so at this point, I think our paint should probably be dry on our rack. So let's bring this bad boy in. Let's get our rack in and let's see this all come together. Yes! Good morning, friends. <laughs> so, last night, I made a decision. It was a 9 p.m. decision, but I just went for it because that's what we DIYers do. And I decided to caulk the edges. It was, uh, you know what? Uh, I think a great decision. I wasn't gonna fill in the sides because I was like, you know what? I wanna be able to remove it. But by caulking the edges, it just finished this whole thing off so nicely. It looks truly built in. I have to admit something. I think I made an error in judgment. So yesterday I brought in my fold up workout bench and check this out. This fits perfectly into here. However, the bottom rack gets in the way so I can't actually fit it in. I didn't actually think it was gonna fit because I had just gotten this yesterday and I didn't think it was gonna be big enough, but it was but I didn't factor this into my design plan. And I think right now I'm still a little butthurt about it. Honestly, this is still looks beautiful. I can tuck it away in my office and it's still gonna look okay. But you know, I just want you guys to all know that I could have done better. <laughs> it could be better. <sighs> the last thing I want to add to all of this is a place for my mats. Now, these mats, are quite large, but they're really great and they're really functional. I love that I can like unfold them and just have them tucked away when I'm not working out. Uh, but you know, being that my little workout space is in the office, I was like, what am I gonna do? So I figured if I can create a way for these to just lean up against here and then have some way to like hold them back and hold them here so that they don't, they don't like fall over, they don't end up being intrusive on any of the space, then that's a win for me. So I thought, why don't I just get this bungee cord here? I have a black one, so it's just nice and aesthetic. And I'm just going to add these hooks on the side they just screw right in. I don't need a lot of weight against them because I picked a bungee cord that just literally is going to hold these pieces into place. So then at least when it's tucked away, it can just hide back here. I can put the bungee cords on either side, the door opens and then this is just nicely tucked into the corner. I feel like this is a simple solution and it doesn't get in the way of anything. And then when I'm ready to work out, I undo the bungee cord, I put down my mats and then I have access to all of my workout gear. It's a win-win, right? All right, so let's install the little hooks and then we can actually get this little bungee up and then we can start putting this whole space together. Okay. Thank you. 
custom organization in our home again. <laughs> Honestly, I love this. Now I have a place for all my fitness odds and ends, all of my kettlebells, all my dumbbells, my mats. It's just, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I needed. And I'm really excited to see how this motivates my fitness journey for my body, for my mental health. And I'm already excited for my next workout. Like that's what I love about DIYing. It just, when you solve problems in your home, it makes you excited for the next steps. You know, in truth, I've been really struggling to find a fitness routine that works for me. I'm really excited to continue with Copilot. I'm really excited to see how that changes my body, how it changes my mind. And it's something that seems to be sticking for me. So if you're like me and you've struggled to find something that works and you're looking for that thing, uh, maybe Copilot is the answer for you. Use my link in the description box. Go get that free one-on-one -on -one session with an expert health and fitness coach. It's just been really nice for me to have somebody to root me on through my fitness journey and uh, I'm excited for my next steps and I'm excited that I have this through my next steps. It's gonna work guys. It's gonna work. Of course, sending so much love to my Patreon family, my DIY friends. If you were looking for a community of DIYers to root you on through your projects, to give you love and maybe share ideas with, then my Patreon is definitely the place for you. It is also linked in my description box. And of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye. <laughs>